skin. Plus, he's wearing one of those leather holster harness things, you know, with the chains. <laughs> so anyway, so this lad drags me to the bar. All I can hear is this god awful music going round. Are you listening? Yeah, chains. So he orders me a shot of something <laughs> totally vile, which obviously works absolute wonders. Because the next thing I know, I am on the stage with this entirely different, entirely hairless young man in, in chaps, spinning round a pole. Diana Jones. <laughs> Me. Chaps, Ellen. And yes, I'm going to tell you all about his bottom. Because it was the most delicious little peach I've ever seen. Round pink per just. Mwah! Oh, God. What's wrong? Oh, it's fine. It's nothing. Helen. No, it's just I specifically said I needed eggs for the cake and Peter forgot. That's all. Okay, how many have you got? Enough for two tears. Two tears? How many people are coming to this party? Oh, don't call it a party. It's not a party. All right, uh, A-level result afternoon tea thing. It's just the three of us. <laughs> well, two tears will be fine. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make three smaller tears instead. That'll be nice, right? Okay, so that's what I'll do. That's the new plan. So that's 500 grams divided by three. I hope they know how lucky they are. Oh, I can tell you. I've been asked to take part in open gardens. Well, sort of. So that's 150 grams of sugar. Yeah. Um, yes, apparently one of Charlie's teachers is on the panel and he mentioned that I like to garden. And so they're coming around tomorrow. 150 grams of butter. Yep. I mean, it's no big deal. It's just, you know, a local event for charity, raising money. But uh, uh, so... That takes me to, right, okay, got it. Right, sorry, what were you saying? That's great, Helen. Oh, yes. Well, it's something. Charlie will call you as soon as he opens that door. Oh, I know that. I do. It's just, he's got his heart set on Coventry, that's all. Coventry? <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. At least it isn't Oxford. <laughs> hey, I enjoyed my time there. Bunch of overachievers. Oh, speaking of overachievers. Oh, no, 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 it's just a load of rubbish. Ah, alumnus Diana Carol Jones wins the Society of Women Artists Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, Carol. <laughs> the retrospective exhibition opened in London last month and includes her latest masterpiece, Somewhere Towards the Beginning. Created in response to her increasing sight loss, this light installation on grey canvas ch charcoal shows up close and personal photos from her life. Diana Carroll, stop it, Jones studied English literature at Oxford and currently lives in Berlin with her husband, award-winning artist Jonathan Bart. <laughs> You see, just once you think somebody could write something about me without mentioning him. <laughs> it's a great picture of you, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're wearing the gold caftan. Oh, from my 50th. Yeah, looks great. Hey, you should wear that when you win. 
Can we uh, talk about what you're wearing yet? I knew you were going to bring this up. What is it? Beige? It's cream, actually. Whatever you do, whatever I do, you insist on getting older. Well, what choice do I have? Mm. Speaking of which, you're looking remarkably young. I know you start. That forehead, wrinkle free. I will have you know that I got quite a lot of compliments last night. <laughs> One person in particular was quite vocal about me. Well, that's nice. Mm. Whispered something quite filthy, actually. <laughs> Wanted me to reciprocate. <laughs> right, well, I don't know. I know if you've been very good at that. Oh, it's easy. You just have to calmly and imaginatively tell them what you want to do to them. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want to. I like the feel of your. Little further to the left, etc., etc. You dark horse. Come on, finish those sentences. No chance. Too rusty. Oh, come on. I really want to. Stop it, Di. What? No one can hear. Well, I can. Oh, come on. Whisper it. <laughs> Just for me. <laughs> oh. Hello? No, he's not wrong here either. Um, oh, uh, you think well, I should? No, I'm not making a big fuss. I'm just a bit. Well, all right. Yeah, okay. See you shortly. Gosh, look, I'm sorry, Di, can I call you back tomorrow? It's just, it's, it's all getting a bit manic here. I haven't telling you my story yet. Well, go on then, but make it quick. I woke up this morning with a woman in my bed. Hang on a minute. Go on. It's all a bit hazy, actually. Oh, please tell me you remember her name. Camilla. Her name was Camilla, about mid 40s. I guess we must have just bumped into each other at some point. So you had sex with this woman? No. 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 I don't think you could call it that. No. Well, maybe you could. Well, there were plenty of other bits. Like what? Well, just fondling. And? I don't know. Oh, come on. No. What's going to you? Nothing. Diana, Carol. Fine. Well, we, we danced for a bit and and then we kissed and I asked her if she wanted to come back to mine and then we just talked and suddenly we were both just very naked and she was so sexy I mean you, you should have seen her legs and her, her skin and her, her lips and it was just so fucking exciting and this is my third divorce, Helen. I just wanted to let loose and celebrate. Fourth? What? This is your fourth divorce. Oh, come on. You know that first one didn't count. Are you going to see her again? Oh, 
she goes back to Barcelona today, so probably not. But, well, she did mention about maybe meeting up when the exhibition is there. What do you think? I think you should do what makes you happy. You're not thinking of coming over there about then? Oh, um, no, probably best not. I mean, it sort of depends on what happens with Charlie today. I mean, if he doesn't get the grades, then I'll have to get him through clearing. And if he does, then it's his last summer at home. So have you seen it yet? The exhibition? Yes, I saw it last week. Oh, right. Well, you, you didn't say. What do you think? Yes. Good. Oh, hi, darling. Have you heard? Well, do you think you could drive to the school and see if he's okay? Oh, please, Peter, just this once. But I've got to get finished getting ready for the do. All right, then. Yeah. Okay. He's, uh, he's having a little lie down. He plays squash on a Thursday, so, um, yeah. I, I should probably get on, Di. Look, it's okay, I'll wait. Right. Potato salad, done. Cakes ready for the oven. Balloons. Oh, they didn't wait. Icing! Oh, God! Look, Helen, I wouldn't have said anything at all about last night if I thought it would make you upset. What? I'm not upset. No, I mean, I just... I guess I just didn't realise it was an option for you. <laughs> Come on. You know, I experimented at university. The morning I met you, I had a girl on my arm, Laura. Oh, surprised you can remember her name. I wasn't that drunk. Ah! How many times I did not mean to lock my bike to yours? Those cheap plastic flowers in your front basket. <laughs> well, it was May Day. She's a Conservative MP now, Laura. I ran into her and her husband at the garden centre. How the mighty have fallen. Well, that's a bit unfair. <laughs> Some people make their choice and they stick with it and that's perfectly commendable. You are upset. I'm being made to feel somewhat inferior or, or, or boring because we can't all just flounce around being cheerfully unconcerned about the future is, is quite frankly nasty. It's not um, people's feelings. Okay, all right. See, that's what I'm talking about. What? I didn't say anything. Your tone. Laura can't hear me. Doesn't matter, Di. You shouldn't go around passing judgment on other people's oh, lives. Neither should you. She's got a lovely farmhouse in East Worthing, three grown-up children she speaks very highly of, and they're planning a Mediterranean cruise this summer. Plus, she was wearing a lovely linen dress, which was cream, I might add, and a big floppy hat, and she seemed very happy. <laughs> You've made purple, haven't you? <laughs> Do Arsenal play in purple? I think I'll just try Charlie one more time. Look, do you want me to go? You do what you want. Oh. <sighs> oh. Anything? Look, Helen, I'm sorry. You should have asked my permission. 
that photo in the exhibition Berlin Love Parade 2001. You couldn't tell it was us. I blurred out our faces. You kept everything else in. The arms around each other, the crowd behind. Charlie saw it. Charlie wasn't even born yet. And Peter? Okay, well that's less than ideal, but did they even recognise you? I mean, no. I was wearing a rhinestone bikini top. No, 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 other way round. We swapped, remember? <laughs> I was wearing the bikini top. You were wearing my Joy Division t-shirt. Are you sure? You said it could have been anyone. You can't tell what we were doing. I think about that day sometimes. I don't remember it being so hot. No, it was a long time ago. I don't know what to do, Di. Do you want to show me the garden? There's lots I'm not happy with. Well, that's all right. How do I flip this camera? Has that worked? Yeah, that's worked. Nasturtiums? Chrysanthemums? They're on their way. Um, oh, the lawn needs cutting, but, but, but Peter said he'd do that. Uh, rosemary over there. You should chop that back a bit. Oh, well, there's some pots of marigolds along the path, which I quite like. Yeah, you see? great. Roses. Yellow, your favourites. And... Um, uh, sunflowers uh, and sweet peas. Oh, which should be blooming soon. Yes, how do you know that? I listen when you talk. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. You should be really proud. <sighs> There's a part of me that doesn't want him to leave and a part of me that does. I think that's normal. It's just the what next part. Because you don't know what that looks like. Because I do. Oh, right, honestly. Gosh, what am I like? <laughs> um, show me some options. What for? The award ceremony. Oh, right. Now, remember, like, this is a Lifetime Achievement Award. It's got to say, I am not dead yet. Got it. Right. There's, right, there's this that I wore for your 40th. Nice low cleavage. Any excuse to get the girls out? Oh, I don't fit into that anymore. <laughs> I don't fit into that. Oh, jumpsuit. <laughs> I think I wore that to Charlie's christening. Sexy godmother. <laughs> that I wore to your wedding. That's two nineties, even for me. The only other option is the black dress I got for Mum's funeral. Do you remember? It's dowdy, but I suppose I could accessorise. What do you think? No, you're right, none of them are right. Oh, I'll just wear the gold caftan and be done with it. Right, you've got a cake to ice. Will you send Charlie my love and tell him I am very proud? Yeah? Finish that sentence. When is the exhibition in Barcelona again? End of, 
end of next month. Right. Well, although I did think about maybe leaving here sooner, maybe hiring a car or, or better still, a camper van and, and just running away for a bit. Really? Well, I've never seen the greats and, well, soon I won't be able to. The Sistine Chapel, uh, the Mona Lisa, Kiss, Budapest, Florence, Prague, Vienna. I know the route doesn't make much sense, but well, you can help me work that out if you wanted to. We could work it all out. How long would you be gone for? As long as it takes for my uh, skin to turn to leather, for my blood to turn to wine, my hair to go a shocking shade of white and, and my breasts to fall out of my bikini with gusto when I feel valued and, and loved. Because that's the least I deserve. Come on. Come and get fat with me on a Greek island. You can wear a floppy hat. You didn't lock your bicycle to mine by accident. I locked mine to yours on purpose so that you'd speak to me and I really want to kiss you again. And Charlie's home. Will you wait? I'll wait. <laughs>